Google has launched career certificates that you can actually get completely for free. And this might be the most useful one so far. The Google IT Automation with Python Professional Certificate. Especially useful for beginners looking to get jobs fast. In this video I'll go through what it is and how it works. And what the pros and cons are. And then who should take this certificate. What it is, how it works, etc. And who shouldn't and why. So if you've been thinking about getting this one. There are some things you really need to know before getting started. And I'll cover all of it in this video. So let's get started. My name is Lucas and I run this channel helping you level up your career right now without having to just rely on experience or degree. Just before we get into this make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and how to level up your career because that's what I provide you with weekly on this channel completely for free. I would really appreciate the support as I'm competing against some huge channels and every single like on this video really helps. Now let's get right into it. So we're now on the page where everything is going to happen. This is Coursera and it's called the Google IT Automation with Pro Python professional certificates and um, I'm just going to go through the basic things. I'm going to show you how long time it takes to get. I'm going to show you everything we need to know about the courses. I'll show you some more detail about the skills. I'll show you essentially everything you need to know. I'll also show you some alternatives um, in case you, this is not really for you as well as the pros and cons and who you should who should take this and whether you should take it or not. So let's get right into it. As you can see the first thing is that it's a certificate available on Coursera. You can start for free. Um, you will have to pay a little bit. I think it's 39 bucks a month at the moment. Um, but you can also apply for financial aid to get it completely for free. As you can see, half a million have enrolled, but less than 30,000 have actually completed a final rating, which sort of indicates that a lot of people don't necessarily complete it. And that's why it's so important that you know all of this stuff that I'm about to tell you before you get started. Because if you don't, then you, you're going to be like one of those like 400,000 people that never even complete it and they don't get to do anything with it. So the first thing that you should know is how long time it takes to get. Now it takes around six months to complete at 10 hours per week, which if we compare it is usually the average time that it takes to complete a Google um, professional certificate. IBM, they do have a little bit cheaper ones. Uh, I'm just going to actually draw this up so you can sort of get a comparison. So what they're expecting you to do is like 10 hours a week and you'll do this for six months, which is around like 25 weeks. We'll, we'll say that it's 25, it's like 24 weeks or something. Now, the thing is also that if you actually complete this faster, you don't necessarily need to do this because this is also an estimate depending on somebody that's completing it at like average pace. But if you're able to complete it faster, then you can probably cut this down to five, in, in, in my opinion, honestly. Of course, it depends on the topic. Uh, with Python, you might need, need a little bit more time to actually complete it because, you know, it's a programming language. Uh, if you don't have experience before, you might need some more time like this. But if it's an easier, easier part of the certificates that, that's not necessarily coding, you can complete it faster. And I would even go as far as argue that you can complete it. If you're, if you're doing it more focused, you can complete it in like four to six weeks if you complete it more focused. Um, if you're completing it part-time, I would recommend you, though, it's probably gonna take you like, for most people, like eight to 12 weeks. That's what I would say. Um, but of course, it depends on how fast you're completing it. What I'm trying to say is that this isn't necessarily what you have to aim for. It's just one example of the time that they're saying that you can get. Now it's six modules. And it's, as they're saying it here, this is the same one, um, it's, but it's on their website. It's for beginners and it's paid, but you can get it for free. And um, that's the main thing that you need to know about the time. Now more in detail about what skills you actually gain. Well, this, these are the skills. You can, you can take a look at, at it yourself. I'll leave a link to this in the description. But the main thing that you want to keep in mind is just that these are the main things that you'll gain. But this is also the main like thing that you will actually gain. And then, of course, each individual course, which I'll talk about, will have some more specific skills and things that you will learn. Um, but this, these are going to be, be like the main things that you'll learn. Automate tasks by writing Python scripts. Use Git and GitHub for version control. Manage IT resources at scale, both for physical machines and virtual machines in the cloud. And analyze real-world IT problems and implement the appropriate strategies to solve those problems. Um, I'm, I'm just going to read up a few of these. So it's using version control, Python programming, basic Python syntax, object-oriented programming, so pro programming type um, or a certain methodology, and some basic things about Python and how you can apply it. And then you also get an applied learning project, which is very important, and I'll talk about that later. Um, I will go through the, the courses really quick. We have the crash course on Python. 
using Python to interact with operating systems, introduction to Git and GitHub, troubleshooting and debugging techniques, configuration management and the cloud, and then a final thing, automating real world tasks with Python. In this one, you will also get a sort of a, um, this is the one that they're talking about here. It's going to be the applied learning project, which is in the final course. Of course, you will also get smaller, like applied case studies and practical problems, uh, projects for you to solve and problems. But this is going to be the main thing, especially in the final course. Um, that's sort of the main thing to keep in mind. Let's see. All right. Now, when we do move over, there are a couple of other alternatives to keep in mind. If you're getting this one, this is from Google, and they have a lot of really good certificates. But of course, it depends on what you're looking to do with it. Let's say that you are looking to become an expert at Python. Then this is one example to do so. But you can also actually start going through a specific Python course that's not focused on this IT automation. Because this is a little bit more specific for the specific thing of IT automation with Python. If you're just looking to learn Python, well, there are other courses and other platforms with more specific programming courses. Um, for example, object oriented programming with Python. It could just be something different, essentially, um, that you don't necessarily have to learn all the other side things. But I do find it a really good thing. It's for beginners. So if you're interested, you can just start right away. There are some other places that have like alternatives. Um, for example, if you want a more slow and detailed Python course, you can check out the one from Michigan, um, University of Michigan. And they're offering it on Coursera as well, which is called Python for Everybody. And there, I believe their intro course, or yeah, ev everybody. I believe their intro course is called, here it is actually, I, I brought it up for you. And this is um, an extensive introduction to Python for everybody. The first one is very like, very, very basic. Um, then it goes up to a little bit more like still introductory stuff and then a capstone project. This is an alternative if you're more looking to just learn Python and not necessarily focusing on uh, this aspect, the IT automation things. So if you're just looking to start some basic Python, this could be a good option, but it's very basic, of course. Um, so this one might be a little bit more interesting for you if you have some experience or you've completed a Python course in the past. Now, I'm going to give you a couple of pros and cons about this certificate before we continue. So let me just pull this up because this is going to be very, very, very important. Very important. So the pros and cons. Well, the most important things about this certificate is going to be essentially that it's from a credible institution, Google, and it's also from a credible place, Coursera. Both of these ones are very established. Coursera was founded by two people from Stanford, um, machine learning experts that have then gone on to create successful companies in AI and machine learning. And they're very focused on the mission. A lot of universities are connected to Coursera. I think there's like 500 universities plus or something. Um, so it's a very credible platform. It's existed for like 10 years and it's, it's, it's just huge. Google is also very known for their certificates. It's a well-known company and they, they actually provide high quality courses. Um, I've tested it, I've gone through it myself and I can tell you that they're actually good quality. Um, of course, it depends on your objective as well. The other thing is gonna be that it's free slash cheap. I mean, it's very cheap. If you compare it to a US degree, which is around 300 bucks per uh, credit compared to this, which is like 39 bucks a month and you can also get it completely for free if you apply for financial aid so that's why i think that it has a lot of advantages compared to this which is going to be like 45 50 000 for a degree and this is like 39 bucks per month or even completely for free the next thing is going to be that it's essentially i'm just going to remove that i hope it's okay with you the next thing is that it's essentially multiple courses in a straight line. And this is very important because when you learn something, you want to be able to put it together to something else. And as you can see, it's six courses, I believe, or five courses, six courses uh, plus a capstone. And that's very important because you're essentially going to go like this. You start here, boom, 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 boom. And then here you will have a final like big certificate, which includes all of these ones. I, 
I do believe you'll get these for this one too. You usually get this for Google. And you'll also know that you've completed each individual thing. And then you'll have like a certificate that shows that you have completed this entire big thing instead of just like a small certificate of a little piece. You've actually taken the effort to go through the entire thing and that shows a lot more about you. Um, the other thing is that it actually involves real world practical ta uh, real world real practical examples and problems and this is very 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 important because if you look into learn a skill that you're going to be using in the real world it's very good to have actually used it in the real world and that's why google focuses a lot on actually adding real world tasks but also in these ones they'll try to give you like more realistic examples let you do it yourself instead of just like watching like a youtube video and then you're supposed to learn it in this one you're actually going to get the most important thing which is practice yeah that's not how you spell practice <laughs> bear with me i am good at other things so um what i was gonna say it's just that make sure to understand this before you get started with it now when we actually get into it, we need to sort of distinguish who is this for. What I'm going to say is that it's for, it's not for everybody. It's definitely not for everybody. It is for somebody. I'm just trying to remove this. Uh, let's see if we can remove this. It is for you if you are either a beginner or an intermediate. If you are an expert, I would not say that it's for you because it's a little bit too general and it's also set at a beginner level. So if you are trying to learn something that people with no prior experience are supposed to be learning, it's going to be a conflicting, like it's gonna be a huge issue. So of course to get up, like to freshen up your knowledge, you could do it, but it's made for beginners and intermediates. And I wouldn't say that it's the best for somebody with like 100% beginner, because maybe these guys should instead take like a specific Python course or something on programming before they go to through this. Um, I believe that programming especially um, is very built on practice and actually doing projects and that kind of stuff, which is good, you will get this in this one, but I believe that you should at least have some understanding of programming before you get started so that you're aware of like, so that you've actually learned the basics and you can focus on um, this specific course. Of course, you can do it either way, but that's just my opinion. So maybe some more specific like coding pathway or something. And that's everything you should know. So make sure you check it out yourself. It all depends on what you think and leave it in the comments below. If you think it's good, then go for it. If you think that you should take something else, go for it. I'm not, I'm, I'm absolutely not here to tell you what to do, but I'm here to give you advice and try to show you and give you all the information so that you can make a valid and solid decision. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, please make sure to leave a like on this video and um, subscribe. I really appreciate it. My name is Lucas and I post free videos like this on my channel to help you improve your career and see success every single week. So make sure you check out the description as well because I put some free bonus stuff for you uh, to help you improve your career right now uh, and just see success. It's completely free. So that's all and I'll see you in the next video.